the uh, the the Chabran Tfila at this time, right? Yeah, you have the sheets. We'll continue that tomorrow. Did we finish the last Mishnah? Did we finish the last Mishnah, the fourth Perik? I don't think so. We should learn this on shop because I don't remember where we're holding you with you guys. One minute. Yeah, we're here. Um, uh, we're in Perik Dalad Mishnah Tesh. You be shmuel b'nai oima achaisich atzmi min adin. You try you if you are capable halachically of reasoning yourself away from the responsibility of being done din a teira. It's only if you are halachic, because normally the halach is you're not in a certain situation where you can't walk away from. Perik menu eva v'gazel b'shmuel shav. It's all the terrible things that you somehow get like you'll be you you'll release yourself from. Vagas libay bayra, person who wasn't cared paskin, it's easy, he does it without Yeshua Das. Yeah, of course, I'm here now, Paskin. That's the Ram says, believe Yeshua Das. And he just doesn't and believe Myra. His Myra goes together with Yeshua Das here. He's called a shaita, a fool, a rasha, he's evil, and he's a gasruach, he's pushed about guy. Who are you, Aimer? Out here, Don Yechidi, Afopi, the Allah, is that a Yochid Mumchil Rabbim is Don Yechidi. But that's Mitzad Adin of Mitzad Amusa. We say, don't do it, even if you're Yachid Mumchel Rabbi. She ain't done Yechidi Ela Echad, but I'll tell you, Kabdu Daiti. Don't coerce yourself. Your 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 day on people. She ain't Rishoyim. They they have all rights to argue with you. Vlayato, you have no right to compel to to force yourself upon people. If you understand, I'm a kaim. A kaim is a term. Which means matzav only v'daychik, and yet he's like it's himself to learn. So sci-fi, the kaim of ma'aysh is that the ramam sci-fi lume tech mivacha umetachkach shelo yelo mashi atudenu min alimu. Doesn't mean he's been a rich man. It means that he will live with. He will be able to learn without having things bothering him. The opposite of vatel Torah mi'aysh. Wasting his time. So he says, He will lose his money. As man, he won't even have time. But now the reason he won't be able to learn. He's busy trying to find a piece of bread to eat. Okay, one more. The mayor Aimer have Maat Isaac. Basaik Bataira. The Tirama Maat Mimai Bemischa. You try your best to have a Mischa, which you can uh, don't have to be that much in it. Basmed Allah Taira, as much as it's possible. But obviously, we're talking about people in, in the businesses of that time. We're not talking about somebody which has, 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 has a job which he has to do, he's a, and therefore, there's no way you can do it. But the cloud is way from cloudly as much as you can be made by mischa and I say by Taira. Then it says that Vishval ruh up if they call Adam. So the Rambam that Vishval ruh up if they call Adam claims that not Vishval ruh up if they are doing the bilvat. But if they call Adam, Taishevim Ezo Adam Shetaishev Tia Sichatzcha Imay VeChavrusche Ita Kilu Malosik Dalim Cha. What's this for? He himself says it's Kilu. Himself. into it because it's a pretty lousy fall. It's just it's a slippery slope. So maybe that's what he says. But every person that you know, he's not bigger than you. It doesn't matter. Bishva ruach. I think it's quite easy. I think I told you once. Uh, every person has something which is special. There's no question about it. And you just have to look, and, and you'll see it. Not that hard to do. Vait state in Mishnah, uh, uh, Malta 
בתיירה יש לך שכר הרבה, יש לך שכר והר ליתן לך, which is very nice. And the opposite is, אם יש בטלטמן, אתה יש בטלטמן עם הרבה כנגד לך. So here the Ramam says something interesting. שיש שם הרבה דברים בטלטמן הזקוקים למי שיסעס בהם. Every community needs a gabba. And you want to learn who will be Isaac and gabos. Anybody ever been a gabba in the yeshiva, you know what it is. It burns your time. So if you're a person which is uh, basically trying to learn, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, God will give you great things. If you're not learning anyway, so you know what? God will arrange you to become a gabba. That's what it says. He will arrange for you to be a gabba of the, uh, of the show. He'll arrange you to be a member of parliament. He'll arrange you to be the, 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 the gabba stalker. He'll arrange gabbos for you. That's if you're a person which is bitaltam in that time. As I said, Yeshem Harbi Dvarim Betelim. It's a Dvarim Betelim. We're not talking about something which is which is Hech Shemitzvah Talmud Torah. Any Hech Shemitzvah Talmud Torah is good for Torah. Yisachar's rule is the, the Chish is good for Torah. We're not talking about that. We're talking about, you know, Gabba is the shul. Don't deal dafke with Talmud Torah. Uh, definitely not other people like that. Yesh Harbi Dvarim Betelim as kukim lemishi sa. He'll make sure you, you want, you want to be a good Jew. You don't feel like learning, so make sure you become a gab. That's a Yisrael God. And since we know that every Sroh is Minah Shemayim, I feel the Rish Gush, even the head of the sewage department, so think you more, is also a Sroh Minah Shemayim. So now if you know when a person gets a Sroh of Gabos, maybe it is because God figures he's not learning too much. That's when has to look. It could be this is what it is. One has to think about that. Okay, let's go further. Yeah. The Gemara says, now let's like to explain this a bit more. Now I want to go more into this idea of the ribbis. The Gemara says in Kuf Chavdal Damid Beis, um, here it is. Let's start from here. Elah, the Sanya Yoshish Tarchayv. and this is what the Gemara says. Amle Rebbe Bar Rav La Ravina Ikla Meimer La Asrim V'Doy Pchor Netel Pishnayim B'Milva V'Loy B'Ribes. I'm a lay now doy le time. This goes according to Dinim of Dinim of Doy, which is the sugi following of Rabbi and Rav Nachman. We will see shortly. Zot the Rashi. Milved ain't a music club on Moisa, the Bestad Evan Yorba album. But Loyla, my Libra Bonna, but out this Tani Yoshu Star Chai Rebbe, the Milved shall have the Kahavi. Why do you say that? Because it's some of the mills, so we're not talking about a Balavera. And by a Balavera, by a Balavera, therefore we're talking about a Star Kosh. Why do I say that? Because it's another Pashit as far as the, even a, a, a ribbus of a Jew, Al Pidin, there's a Chiyuv there. You owe the guy money, Elamai, the Din is. That we're not going, you know, you know how to pay it. It's a ritva and kedushin of avah medays. Elaborates on that. It's, there's a chayiv mammon, therefore you owe the money. I forget the din is that uh, if you if if you if you if you paid the ribbis to the malva, the malva's mechayiv al pi din to return it. Mashenkin, if it was paid to the yarshim, then I don't have to return it. The sifrin shulchanach, a big schmooz on this. You're not learning the sugi. I suggest looking at least up the ritva and kedushin of uh, where is it am medays. In the Sugi of Mikaj Milva, where he discussed at this point. So, this is what Rishba means. It so just means to say, we're talking about Evi Kuchavim, where it's a, uh, it, we're, talk, uh, we're not talking by a Dabar Isser, not because by Jew the din would be different. Now, obviously, the million Kiman de Gavi Dami we realize is a relative term. 
Because the Mice, as far as Shvius is concerned, we pass in the middle of his love, came on the Gavidam. What exactly happens here that this happens here? I don't understand. Okay, so Zain, Zain. Just one minute. There we are. Yes, so, uh, uh, came on the Gavidam. So we know by Shvius, it's not called Kiman the Gavidam, that's a Machlekes. Uh, uh, Beshamay and Beshilo, we paskin like Beshamay, Beshilo. That Shvius is Meshamay the Milush of Beshtak. It's not Kiman the Gav Yadami. I mentioned that already. The Gemara and Gitta. Uh, so then Lechayra, uh, what Elamai? We do know it's Kiman the Gav Yadami as far as other things are concerned. The Marshal, as far as the Allah of Migo Lahaitzi is concerned, we believe that basically you're called the Muzik. You call the music. You're never you're not called Laitzi. If you have a star and there's a migu, we don't believe it. We might see from the from the live with we, we, we say you believe with the migu alpha p that's migu laitzi, because since you have a star, it's called migu laitzi. Once again, these are relative terms. It depends on which halachas we're talking about. I say this the chatkila, we should understand that. Okay. So this is what it says here. He says the star is called Kiman de Gavi. I mean, it means to say that as far as Ilkhaz Bhor and Roy and Yimuchlik is concerned, this would be called Kiman de Gavi. Now let's see how he explains it soon. Why? Why? Couldn't be worse. Why not? Something that he never had before. He is taking monies that he had lent him. Thus, therefore, the stars It's interesting. So he says what? He said the star is called a mashkin on the Moiz Shehelvel. Why? Because it was Malvahim Mos, and now he's collecting those Moiz. So Mela, this is called a mashkin. Mashkin on the Moshel of and the star is not called a Mashkin on the ribbus. Now, why not? Because he never gave him money. So, what? What's the difference? My nafkimina. What's the Pshat and Rajbam? See the words again. He said, The monies were never his before, which is granted. I lent you a hundred dollars. You're going to pay me 125 in ribbus. Right, uh, 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 of the money, and it doesn't matter. To the mice we're talking in reality that what that with the reality that, that what that this money came already. So you say the star that you got originally with the star had ribbus in it, and swung by ribbus by a guy, which is mutter. It's not called a mashkin on the ribbus. It's not called a mashkin on that ribbus. What you could learn because if if the ribbus is a getter like schirus schirus of money. Shkiris is only mishtal on the besite, so lemais. So you can't say that there's a mashkin on it because you don't know how long he's going to use it. But that's not true. We're talking with a ktsitz. I couldn't care less how much you're going to use it. You pay you if you. This is what you were ktsitz for. Now nech, it's true the ktsitz was for a certain usage in time. Hypothetically, I'm just trying to think possibilities. You could say, therefore, it's not that now there's a mashkin on a sof, uh, on a davar mesuyim. Because the chayv only happens the ma'ase lebesayf. If you hold it schiris, that's a machlekes in gemara. If you learn kedushin again, that memches. In yeshen the schiris mitchilavad sayf or endless schiris lebesayf. If you rent something, you pay for the rent. Is it like a taxi meter which is ticking and every minute you owe, 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 and then the sum comes up at the end? Or endless schiris lebesayf. You only owe the money at the end of the term. Well, if you're going to learn endless schiris lebesayf, how are you? Going to say there's a mashkin not for a chayv which hasn't happened yet. There's no milva yet. There's not even a milva. The milva only happens at the end. So how can it be called a mashkin? Bishas halvot. Truth of the matter is, I don't see why. Look, if you gave the star before, and how's it going to start going to be a mashkin for a son which only happens later? Is that what he means? He doesn't say it. He doesn't say that. He says another word. It's called loy ha yishul me oila. Doesn't mention that chisar, so for whatever reason it be, that's not the issue. The issue because loyha yeshulemi elam, as opposed to mir mois move the kishok lemois shehelveu. You're taking money that you had lent. Is that really true? 
does it mean to say it means to say here there was a I had given you money and therefore now you're paying because you received something and there I had given you money and now you're paying money for usage what's the difference I gave you a hundred dollars you're paying ribs for the usage because I gave you a hundred dollars to use and if you think there's no I you're paying 125 for the hundred dollars that you got why enough kimina? So it can't be, you can't, shut and run can't be here. You're paying because you gave money. By river souls, you're paying because you got money. I gave you money, and your commitment towards that money is to pay for, for, the, for the usage. No difference. So obviously, it doesn't mean that. He means literally that when you take, when you collect, you're collecting the money which you gave. Now that really makes very little sense because we pass in La Locha that again, Milva Light Sun, it's never ain't a chaib la mida be iska, as we learned in Rashi and Dakma Mzai, the learned condition. You don't have to have the money there the whole time. So what does it mean? Shokal Mashal Vayu, Benim Sashta Mukzi be yodi be mokem moyosef. Mean to say it's a mashka in Bishasalva. That's the idea. It's a mashka mishasalva. We have no problem. In, I want to point something very clear. Mashkin Bishas Havor, because hypothetically, there could be a Mashkin Bishas Tirfa. There are two types of, there are three types of Mashkins, but at least two, which is Negeret Haas. There's one Mashkin, which a guy gave you collateral at the time of the loan, and that's what we're, that, that's called most, that's the Shtar. Okay? There's another type of Mashkin, that the time had come to collect, and you didn't pay, so Bezdin goes into your house and takes collateral instead of payment, and you'll get it back when you pay the goods. That's something else. That's a dinner of my Bezdin. So that's not what's happened. That's definitely not a star. Can we? Is that what it means over here? That the star here is the equivalent of a shmashki mishas tirfa. And if that's the case, what's the difference? If this man tirfa happened already at a time when the father was alive, Kimavur and the Rajbam here. The time had already passed. So the Zman Piron happened. So what's the difference? It was still a Muzik. So you have to say it's called a Mashkin for this and not a Mashkin for that. What's the Agdora for goodness sakes? That's the question on the table. What does he mean? This is also a Torah Shinkadik Just one minute. Are we talking about Mashkin Bishas Savar or Davki Mashkin Shalei Bishas Savar? You really want to know. Some of the Rishonim say, Ike didn't have Rabbi Yitzhak said, Balchayv Kainu Mashkin is Mashkin Shalei Bishas Savar. Mashkin Bishas Havai is a Kiddush has certain halachas, which is also kind of that's a Taisus and Kiddushin, which what I mentioned already. One has to see this just to understand the Rashbam. Where's the Gemara Kiddushin? It's a Taisus and Kiddushin. Where is it? Of Ches or Tes? Yeah, Taisus and Kiddushin. Mashkin Da Achayir and Kiddur Biyitzok Afos of Taisus Ches. Afa Gav Biyitzok Ayir and Mashkin Shulai Bishas Havai. But sin la meimar the kiven the bal chayv kain the mashkin shulei b'shas of a kinyan gomer etc. Alim shibude lechashiv mama lekadish by isha liknos be'avodim kalkos etc. So that one has to see and try to interpret the first six lines of that taisus. It's the second taisus on chesam and base. The first one's really a killer, but the second one is easier. Mashkin da acherim ukrib yitzchak. So this is what we're talking about over here. Okay, so what's meant is this? So he says, Balchayv is kind of this mashkin, which is Lechayr and mashkin, Mishas Halva. That's the Agdara. That means to say, just like it's enough to be Kaddish and Isha with, etc., is also true. So here he's saying, hey, you said that a Chayv Shiesha of mashkin, even mashkin, Mishas Halva, it's Zichy called your kind as far as the Allah of Muzik is concerned. That's what it means, okay? It's as simple as that. So in order to understand this, one has to um, go back to try to understand the, uh, as we started, we started by saying that um, the getter of mashkon, the getter, it's a mashkon. Mashkin means an alternative way of payment. That's what a mashkin, a mashkin, 
is an alternative way of payment, a substitution for payment. And that by Mashkin Bishast here, for that's a Dabra Pashit, it's Mamasha payment. This is a this is a little less, but it's also it's a, it basically Mashkin means it's collateral, it means it's a substitution for payment. Now, Lukhaira, as we pointed out, that only makes sense if we accept the thinking of the uh, that sad in the which is found in the Chuvasa Rajba, that the money of the collection is actually the value of the mashka. I just want you to know, I found it afterwards in 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 the Nasivis, he writes this Mafush and Simonai and Basiv Kotn A. Uh, also, you I know in Sim Samach Bav Sukkot Niyad Beis that the star is a key in Mashkut. He doesn't mention the. I don't know how he says this without the Rashbam. That's like beyond me. Just saying, it's a Rashbam. Okay, so when you have in the Sivis, if you, you probably got one for your Mikias test, so right there on the side, Rashbam. Okay, the mice it's a Rashbam. The only thing it's a. Rajbam. So Vas made this one, but he says it, he, whatever he does, he does that. I'm not going into it, but it's worth knowing that it's there. You have to see it. But the Untish the Shur says that Rashbam, Vas made us. So as I pointed out, this can only make sense with that sudden Shiva Sarajba that we say that basically that the value, the star itself is nothing more than said like an employee to receive money. But the 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 Yotza Hashar, the time the market opens, it's called a Shuk. Is a private shuk between the malva and the loiva, as we explained. The pshat is that the shvach of the gufa star. If you recall, that's how Taisa understood the rashbam, and that's a, that the pshat with that shuv siraj. Then I can understand why it's called a mashka. If you won't give the money yourself, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get the star. The star is value. The value of the star is from, from from you. Is that some? And therefore, my I now have a piece of paper which before it was a piece of paper, but now it's become into something which is a check. And the check is cash. In other words, the check prior to the time of date is it, it, this star is like it, it's not a check; it's just a contract, a deed. At the day of Piran, it becomes a check. That the getter of the Allah. That's what we said. The shlup for Nasatamri. If you really want to know, that's how I explained that time in the Taisus. That I understand. Now the question is, that that's one hanukha that I can relate to. What is the difference between Milva, Malva and Ribis as far as that's concerned? And this is where it gets interesting. The side is like this. Um, I pointed out that uh, the Taisvis in Baba Kama, Daflam Vav, we learned this last time, that the guy owes him money, you know, he owes him money for a knas because he, you know, hit him by near his ear. So the Gemara, the Gemara Tais is right. He can't normally sell that or give that transfer ownership with that because it's a davar shalei bala oila. It's not his. That's the lashon the Tais is there. We know that the uh, Ramban thinks the same thing. Davar shalei bala It was interesting to see that the Raza and the Rif basically understand the chesor is not davar shalei bala oila. Rather, it's a, it's enay b'shusay. That's what they write. Implication being that as far as Shalai is concerned, since it's Dabr Shiyakalaitsi Bidayani, I'm simply repeating things we learned. That Khisarin would not be a problem. It's very interesting. Although it's not your money, Alpha PK, that Khisar is not a problem. Dabr Shiyakalaitsi Bidayani means to say the Shalai is Miskayim. Alpha PK, it's not Bishusai, because you still need the guy to bring it to you, but basically it's yours. One wants to understand what this means in that Hagdara there. That's another question. In Rashi and the Rajbam, we saw Mufurish that when it comes to a Milva, the Chisorn is Einoi Be'en. It's Einoi Be'en. We don't mention the idea of Einoi Shaloi. By Milva. By Milva, we, the only place we have Mufurish that they're talking about Milva is other Rishon we're talking by Morris of Nezek, where there there seems to be a machlekes with the yachal itzim and ayon and makes it shalayin the chsons only in a bishusoy or not, but the chayy without any without yachal itzim and ayon would be called enay shalay. But in Milva we have a lashon of ena be ena be en, which in context means ena bishusoy as we described. Why? What's the difference? I want to understand Chitas Rajbam because Rajbam is very clear that by most, when you collect them, you're collecting your own most. 
What does that mean? How does that fit with the Gemara of Makash Vamil Ve'ena Mekudeshes? Because Mivalei Tzah Nitna. How can he say the Shekak Kashokil Mois Shehelvo? What does he mean? And the text is like this. Let's go back to that Rashi that I mentioned. I just want you to know I, uh, the, the Gemara in Bab Metziah. I want to see it again. I hope you saw it by now so now you can appreciate this a bit better. The Gemara says in Bab Metziah, as I pointed out, the Allah is that it might have been mixed as if I claim for you $100 and you might have 50 or Chayva Shvur Dei Raisa. Shwas might have been mixed as we learned from the Pasuk Asha Yoimer Ki Huze. Fuck the Gemara Ashaila. What's it then by Halach? Amr Abhia, Manali Biyad Khava, Allah, Amr Enlach Biyadi Elanun Zuz, Behalach, and here take it. What's it then? So Abhia says, Chayev, my timer, Kemaid were mixed as a tiny dummy. Rav Sheshi says, Helech is potter. My time, Kivan the Amal Le Helech, Ani Zuzu, the Kamaide Begavel, Keman the Nogat Le Malve Domi. As soon as you said, Here, take it, it's as if you have it already. So that's not part of the Din Torah anymore. As soon as you said, Hey, you, you told me, I, you came to me, you said, um, Hey, you owe me 100. I said, No, I owe you 50. Here it is, take it. So as far as the business, so that 50 is not on the table anymore. It's paid. What's left is the question of another 50. On that, you were totally kaifer. Interesting question. Can he change the table, change the, change the issue on the court by saying, here, take it, I've paid it. So Rashi writes, what is the issue on the table? Loads of team, I haven't spent them. They're yours, but it doesn't matter. As soon, I'm just nothing more than a sheriff pikadan. Wherever it is, it's yours. Simple as that. I haven't spent it. I'm a share of Picotten. And the share of Picotten, the Picotten belongs to you wherever you are. It's as simple as that. That's called payment. That's an interesting question. So obviously, if you look at the Agoyes Agoyes at the side, he quote, bring quotes to Ryan says, what are you talking about? The din is milva like son, it not. That as soon as you gave a milva, as soon as you gave a loan, the din is you can spend it whatever you want with it. And that's why the Allah has been told when you gave a girl a loan and you told her, here, I want you to marry, I want to marry you with the money that I lent you. So even if the money is still ben, it's not Makudish. That's the Gemara in Kedush Mem Why? Because Milva lights on that you gave it to her. It's hers. It's hers. You're not giving her anything she doesn't have already. That's the question on the table. So the what does Rashi mean? So I want to show you a Gemara from Bavasra. Open up the last page of Yeshnoichen. We know you're going to see this in the next Ahmed that the Baal is Yerush's Ishtai. And we know those who learned Makos, at least, or if they learned the fifth pair of Ksubs, that would be nicer. There's a concept called Nixem Milug. Lady brings things into the marriage, and it's set up in a way that the husband has rights of usages, and he also gets the money. He gets it if she passes away. Now, the Shiloh the Gmar is entering I look at the Gemara, it's in the widened out lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth line. Actually, ninth line, middle of the line. Sholachla Avua Bagniva, I like the name. Imagine, you know, the son of Gneva, Lerova, okay? Yelamdeme Rabbeinu. The Rebbe should teach us. You should know, it's so nice to see in the Chuvus of the Rishon, it's in Chuvus that's how they ask the questions. Teach us something. It's unbelievable. They don't want to psak. They want to be taught something. The lady took a loan. She was a girl. She took a loan. And she spent it. And then she got 
got herself married. I don't know. She paid for her what's it called the bachelorette party. She finished. Now she got married. But she now has an outstanding loan, which she spent already the principal. When this is, he got herself married. In the Samir Valpe, do we collect from the Nixemalug? Does the Balchev come to the husband and say, Yingala, your wife, she owes me $1,000. Pay from the Nixemalug that you are now controlling. Do we get it? So what's the Shaila Baal? Loikeach have the rights of the Baal and Nixamalog is like a Loikeach. Now, what's a din? The din is a Milval Peh. You're not going from the Lagukas. So you can't collect from him. You have to wait till somehow this marriage separates, if it does. Maybe he dies, whatever it is. And then she finally she's her own Nichas and go back to her. Then you can collect from that. Oh, Yerush Heaven. Maybe we look at the rights of the uh, Baal in Nixamalog like, a, a, like an heir, even when she's alive. Lekeach have Do we say it's she's a lekeach who milva al pe in a goyvim and al akuchas? Very simple. I do me yerush have who milva al pe goyvim and ayarshim. What the relationship between the husband and the wife in the lichsim aluk? Is he like having taken her rights to himself, or is he an extension of her rights? Is she? Is he somebody? And this is the only case where I know where the husband is perceived as a continuance of the wife and not vice versa. Very empowering. So we have a cut. He's the broad card of the wife. From a male, there's no problem. You collect from him. We say, no, she's she. And you really acquired her rights. OK, this is a Shailin Gemara. Now, any John Doe will ask the media question. Why is the question, what do we pass in la'alacha? We pass in la'alacha, ba'al lo'ikeyacha. So it's often a sip and shukh. It's a ramam, it's often a sip and shukh. It's an Ebenezer. Where is it? In Sip and Sadiq Aleph. It's a short sip over there. So in Sadiq Aleph, it's that, yeah, Lacha Baal is a Lekeach. And therefore, a girl took a loan before the marriage and then uh, she married off. And then the Chasma Niximalog, you can't collect until uh, if Chalil and the Sparda Achavila, there's no debts. The debts are not collected from the Niximalog because Baal is Lekeach and the Milval Peh. Is not is not going from the kuches, which is from the husband. But it's weird. Why did the Gemara say lovsa va'achla? Why did the Gemara say she took the loan and then she ate the principal? What? So you know, if you you have you have Gemara's Baal open the back to the good old Muki Yosef, and you'll see what he writes. It's literally the end of Yeshnaichlin, so you got no problem. This is where you're all going to finish by the end of this man. Here we are. Very good. Literally, the last Ahmed and Riff of Yeshnaichlin. In Oizvod, it's Kuf Ayin Hey, the right column, the um, second paragraph. It starts with parentheses, brackets. Loves of Achla. This is a quotation of the Ritva. I could have sent you to the Ritva, but uh, you have the Gemara here. Zoktia, 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 Zimki Yosef. Umayrik Shachoyv Bori. It's a definite Choyv. There's no question about that. She ain't by Shash Piroi. But there's no stud in that maybe it's Parua. She Kiyot Sabai gave him an Ayoshim. That's when you collect from Yoshim. That's obvious. Hoden Nokat Vaochla. That's what it says Vaochla, that she actually devoured the principle. No, underline the two words, please. Love Dafka. Who are din kishamois ben? There's no difference. Love Dafka. I love these words constantly. The din nixamalug yeshlem. Why? The milva leitza nitna. Okay. I, I am not the person that's going to judge Rishonim would say love Dafka because I don't know how to, how to argue with people like that. But if I know other Rishonim don't have to agree with them, this I know. And then there's a stomach the Gemara that all the milva lights on it now, but if no achla, it still belongs to the malva. That's a stomach the Gemara, right? Do we agree? Of course you agree. You better agree. It's enough in the Gemara. Lemai says Mufurish in the Gainim, and the Raman passes it la halacha. The Raman argues with this ritter and passes the loves of achla is dafka. And if la, if you lay achla, she has to. Give it back to the Baal Chayv. Where's the Ramam and Hilkes Malva? Oh, where's my Hilkes Malva here? Mishpat. Uh, 
took the Rambam in Hilchis Malva Velay Vepei Chovav Alocha Tetz. If you have it, open it. It'd be very good to have one. If not, you have to listen. Eved or Yeshesish, an Eved or an Yeshesish, Shalavu or Irvo Sacher. They either they maybe they were all things. Either they became Arabim or they took a loan. Vinis Chayvu Lishalim, and they have a debt, an ongoing debt. They have an obligation to pay. Kishi Yishtacher HaEved. When the Eved is freed, and now he's his own man. Or if she divorces or gets becomes a widow, then Yisham will then you pay. The Raman continues and writes in Alachiyot Beis. Haisha she loves a bishtar or she irva bishtar. When he says chayevet, he said before Alachites. V'im haisa milva alpe. Why could the Shirishus Baal Kirishus Loikeach? This is where he passed in the Sugya. The Shus of the Baal, the Kirishus Loikeach, and we're not going it from the Nixim Aluk. That's our Nechotzim, because now the Loikeach is the Baal. Then he ends with one beautiful sentence. Push. Nice way of saying he doesn't like do. He's, he's I, my Spanish leader here does not believe in lavdafkis. Okay, this I no doesn't believe in lavdafkis. Now where is he coming from? So I will quote the Magid Mishnah in Halacha Tess. And if you have Rambam's, it's worth seeing. Push it, Mefurish. Raisi zok the Magid Mishnah. It's in Sefer Atrumus and the Yitter. B'shem Rabbeinu Shvira, Rabbeinu Hai Ge'oinim. Nice people, okay? What do they write? Sha'isha shalavsa o kibla pikadain o gzela. Either she took a loan or a pikadain or she has a gzela. O gneva, all the same. Im hu matsui biada, if it's found in her hands. We're talking about Mois Alva. Pikadain, Kneva, and Zela. Mishalemis, the Ain Labal Le Akave, the Ink for Ovad, Hereokidin Chavolos. The Hain Nires of the Magimishna, me Dive Rabbein, Shekosa, Vanena, Lochi, Yud Beis. The Divreim, Srikim, the Eun. The Lovsa, the Fishiesh Loma, Kivan Shah, Milva, Leitza, Nitna. Take if she loves her, Zacha Babal Achilas Paris. I don't understand what they're talking about. Avo be Picard and Xela Gneva is Pasha, the Kalecha de Snayu, Pashusa de Mora is Snayu. He understands the ruling of the Gainim by Gneva and Xela Picard because it basically it belongs to the owner. Mashenke Bahalva, the true, the, the Ayra, the Gainim makes no sense. And he basically tells us that the Raman followed the Ayra of the Gainim of Shir of Hai. Finally, in that in um in in, in Halachi Yudbeis, here he writes something interesting. The Efshar, and I never understand why 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 this is called the Efshar. The Efshar, he says, Yotzel Lahen. What is the source of the Gainim? Mimasha Omu Begemara loves the Veachla Ba'am the Venisus Mau the Mash Malami Boilu El Adafke Ba'achla Ha Itzu Isnayu Be'en. So it's interesting how he says Efsha because Lachari, you could have said Lav Dafka like the Ritva. Maybe they decided it's not Lav Dafka and therefore they have a new understanding of a Mubalay Tsar and Nitna does not include if it's Ben. So Mufurish, Rambami, Patan, Ribshir, and Rifai. It's Biasa Bekutcha that that is the source of Rashi in Bab Metziah. When Rashi writes, Hey Lach, Loho Tzetim, Barei Lachahem, Bechom Makom Shehein. Because prior to using the monies, it's a proper pikadon. The Kiddush is that you can transfer that, that, that pikadon into becoming total ownership by usage. This is what we mentioned. So the last yesterday, I showed you a Gemara by Mem Zayin Amit Beis, which you probably couldn't appreciate without reading the Gemara inside. This is a shorter Gemara and more explicit. And it has a Rambam and a Magid Mishnah. You know, it's easier to, uh, to, 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 to digest. Stomach for sure. And there 
you have it. This Rambam. This Rambam, by the way, you should know, there's a lot of, I just want to show you one more thing. The halacha is that Mekadish B'milva, if you tell a lady, Mekadish uh, B'milva, ain't a Mekudoshis. What are we talking about? In what case? So the Rambam writes in Hilkas Ishus, Perik Hay, very interesting language of Rambam. In Perik Hay, Allah Yud Gimel. Please listen, it's worth listening to. Hamikadesh B'milven, he's Mikadesh the lady with the Milva, with the debt that the girl owes him. I feel like the Bishtar, Einam Akudeshis. Even if it was Bishtar, Einam Akudeshis. Now, you have to copy yourself. I'm not going to explain that. Not, I'm not learning Kedusha at the moment. I feel like the Bishtar, so that's be a Kiddush here, right? Einam Akudeshis. Just think of it for two minutes. I feel like the Bishtar, Einam Akudeshis. If you understand how this can relate to our Rajbam, you're a good boy. And if you don't, start thinking. A few lights of Bishtar, ain't him a Kudashis. Kate said, Kigon, Shahoya lo etzla chov dinar. He had an outstanding loan on her for a dinar. Bummer Lord, he says to her, I read at the Kudashis, the bidinar, she actually be a dech. That dinar that you owe me, I want to be a you with that dinner. The dinner's ain't him a Kudashis. Why? Mipne, because shall move a light son it not. The milva is not a chayv lamida beiska, etc., as we explained. No, it's there for expenditure. The inkan davar kayam lenotbo. Therefore, he's not, there's nothing here at the moment which we, she can have added pleasure by giving it to her because she already has it. Why? Shekvar hotzi'o oisoi dinar v'avra hana asoi. Because she already spent that dinar. Everybody and his cousin asked in the Rambam, why did you say this? I thought Milva Lahid saw it. Now, what's the difference if she spent it or she didn't spend it? To the extent that Rebbe Avram Minahar, the famous uh, Rebbe Avram of Montpellier, the famous commentary on Rashi in Kedushin, um, you, you probably don't know, if you didn't in Kedushin, you don't know, but in Kedushin, the Vilna Shash, on the side of the Gemara, that's what we call Tosis Ri Azake. But anybody which is knowledgeable knows that Tyson's Riazakin is not really Riazakin, it's Rebbe Avram Minahar. It's good to know. So Rebbe Avram Minahar, in, what we, in, in what's called, it's, which is, we call it Miuchasos the Riazakin, it's like the Chuvah Sarambans and the Rajma. Miuchas is the Riazakin, he quotes the Rama. I just want you to hear what he does with it. Umashi Katava Ramba. You see, Riazakin doesn't usually bring Ramba. You have to understand that, okay? Rabbi Vaminahar, open up sukkah. You learned that, some of you. He does. Umash, because of Aram, that's how he quotes him constantly. Shekvar hoitzi hadina. What does this mean? Pirush ha'ish hoitzi ha'imishusai. The man, by giving it to her, had taken it out of his rishus. Oh, God. Kishayilva oisim la. He doesn't own it anymore. God. Now, I don't know. How to, I'm going to read the sentence again according to the Riyaz. Okay, okay. Watch this. There's nothing tangible which now she can have pleasure from it with the new ownership. So he doesn't say, it's, it, it says he should have said, but somehow his Hebrew allowed him to say, he was mighty her. And what's the Oisai? The Megadish. If that's Hebrew, my name is Huckleberry Finn. You understand? Okay. You don't have to be a linguist to know that's not what my mind is meant. What did he mean? He meant very simple. It's the Shitasa in the Malva, Shitasa Gainim. It's over Pashit. It's the Gemara in the Shnaich in the last time. That's what it is. Very simple. The fee there, when we say I'm kaj mover in Kadeshis, we don't say we don't say even if it's ba'en. It means even if it's ba'en, but you spent something. Because if you didn't spend anything, then you have to give it's not your money, it's his. And that's an interesting shaila. I gave you the money, but it's still mine. But you have the right to take yours. You don't have to ask me. You can make it yours whenever you want. The Rama believes that if you didn't spend some of it, didn't become total owner, then the condition would work. 
even if you agree with what's found in Daf Kufnam that Basra, that doesn't mean that the Pshat and Halach is that way. It could simply be that since you now it's mine, but you but I have no rights on it. You can make it yours whenever you want. So by me giving it to you, I haven't done anything. I haven't given you anything new, and that would be enough. The added shikvah hotzia is we don't. That's a chiddush of the Rambam. Rambam believes that if there was no hotzia at all, no, then it wouldn't work. It would be kedushin. Hypothetically, you could argue on that point. You could say that as soon as I gave you the milva, although it's still mine, you haven't spent it, but there's nothing stopping you from doing whatever you want with it. I have nothing anymore, and whatever you have total control of it. Hypothetically, that may also be a reason why there's no kedushin. I'm not letting myself this kedushin at the moment. That's why I don't want to go into it. I do want to point out that that Nikuda of the Rambam is clearly based on the Gemara Basra. But even if we know that Rashi learns the Pashas, the Gemara Basra, he doesn't have to be the Rambam at that point. And Rashi Taka writes multiple times, Amakaj, Milva, En, Mekudeshis. He writes, Afil, Hu, Be'en. So I, I repeat, they are agree on a certain anacha what the, the, from Rashi, but we see, we see <coughs> he and the Ramu agree in the concept of Mivale Tzorn, not, <coughs> but they don't agree as far as Kedushin is concerned. Concerned <coughs> whether, <coughs> whether according to Rashi, although it is yours until I <coughs> spend it, but since I've total control of it, Mikash, it, it's called it doesn't matter, you can't be Mikadish with it. Rama Mizmashra Shikvara, it's see her, she spent something. Because if no spend her, what would it mean? Shikvara, it's see her, it's The same means, it's see her, it's see her means the Baal, and it's see her means the Mona. Yeah, they show some help, and maybe in Yiddish. It doesn't work in Hebrew. Okay, and definitely not the beautiful language of Rama, whoever is used to it. So that's not even, on, it's unbelievable, but it's not, it's not in the cards. Okay, now that we know that, I have to ask myself a question. So even if Mivale Tzorn it, no, I know one thing. I know at the moment I'm, the money is mine and you have the right to transform it into yours. That's what this is. The money is mine and you have the right to transform it into yours and spend it whatever way you want. Originally, you're taking my money and spending it. Now, if Mivale Lovely Tzorn it, now how did we explain this? We saw the Rashi in Kedushin that Memzayin that means to say that a loan does not mean a loan for pleasure. It's a business partnership. I'm giving you my, I would say, buying power because that's what cash is. When we define most, does anybody know how to define most? That's the Rishonim in Perik Azor. That's called kesim. Something which is easily transferred. You can use it as currency. Define currency. It is whatever it's called, a metal, call it whatever you want, a commodity which is in a way which is easily transferred. People transfer it. We don't say that a gold coin is, or a, or a silver coin is called Shavet Kesef. It is Kesef. How do you find Shavet Kesef? Something which has an identity outside of its own, which can also can, if you sell it, you can get currency for it. So let's understand the thing. Shavet Kesef and Kesef. Kesef, by definition, is something which basically it is Chorif V'yaitzah B'yaitzah. If I would want to say something which embodies buying power. Now you can buy even buy, buy with a cup. <laughs> if you sell the cup and get money, then you have buying power. No one looks at a cup as representing buying power. A cup has an identity of its own. It's called a vessel. Granted, buying power gives me the cup. I can also transform the cup into monies, and then I will have what we call currency, which is the equivalent a pseudonym for buying power. Buying power is expressed specifically in currency. That's called kesef. This, at the best, would be called shavu kesef. The concept of shavu kesef means, I just want to understand that carefully, it means something which I can attain money with it. Now, this is a Gemara in Babakama, okay? The Gemara says in Babakama, ask the question, the Pasuk says that when you damage somebody, you have to pay the best of the fields. Metav Sadeu Yeshalek. And the Gemara asked the question, how is it possible that for Karka you have to pay the best of fields when there's another Drosha, Yashiv, Yashiv, Kesiv, Yashiv, Lebailov, Afilu Subin. You can give the guy Bran. Now, Bran, you need wagons full. 
to get anything. It's it, it, the time to get tight in the modern world. Brand is very important, you know, with all your granola and health foods. Today, brand, once upon a time, brand was soyless, you know. You know, white bread was a double kosher. Pas kibber was a chisor and open up all the rishon, all, all the braces. Today it's the opposite, right? Pas kibber is a double kosher. Pas lavan is a I'm sure Only the French still eat pas lavan. Even today you have whole wheat baguette. It's a steer in bay. Anybody who has to love this baguette, a whole wheat baguette. This is as, as this is you know hagam nichvish is the malkimi babayis. But the zayidus. This is a, uh, but once the brand was perceived as psilus, and the days you can pay psilus, so how can you tell me that karka, you have to pay metaf if you can pay psilus? What is the Gemara saying, Baba Kama? Do I have a Baba Kama here? So the Gemara and Baba Kama. Dab Zayin Ahmed Beis. So the Gemara. They came back from the yeshiva. They had been, as they, they had been, they, they came back home, Ben Azmanim, not like my boys here, which are still in Ertisro. Some of them, they actually had they came back from yeshiva. What did they say? Call Mila Meitavu. Everything is called Meita. Why? The Elam is Dabin Hache, since it's mobile. We can't sell it here. It's not a mosachrita. There's always a market for everything. Don't worry about it. Masha'en came by karka lebar miara. The lace of lemi metaf ki hechel liquid salis vina. You don't pay metaf. You pay something which will get you money. Now, since it's real estate, therefore may you're stuck with the local market. And therefore, if you give him a uh, third grade real estate, you're not going to, it's not that easy. Are you going to translate that into cash? Everyone wants to get the AA grade. You know what I mean? They want, to, obviously, they have, you know, they want to buy in, in, in J Street over there in Brooklyn, you know, near the bridge where there's the big developments of Elish Kaidel. There, we get machen Geld. But they're going to go buy somewhere, face the Schwass and in the Bowery. You know, the cigar, I understand it very well. Or today, with bed stye is an upcoming thing. Fulton Street, you know, I remember the days that you needed a knife when you walked around there. Today, it's like uh, up street, it's like, it's okay, the best restaurants and, and art galleries are there. Kill me if I would understand it. I don't know what did they do. They must have deported the residents or something. I don't know what they did some ethnic cleansing. I don't know what they did over there quietly. Whatever happened, happened. You know, this is the reality. If I'm about you now, come on, let's face it. And if something happened there that you don't look did something. Anyway, at the end of the day, so real estate has to be a grade A because you want to translate it into money. Mashenk and Bran, there's always some Meshuganer that wants Bran. You just have to take your car and move. So what does the Gemara say? Basically, Shavit Kesef, Kikesef is not because it represents buying power of its own. It's because it's easily transferable into cash. Metav means easily transferable into cash. Mobile objects are always easily transferable into cash. Real estate is not easily transferable into cash. Therefore, we need grade A real estate in order to easily transfer it into cash. This is the estate of Shabbat Kesem Tikesem. It is not that we think that these objects represent buying power. It is not true. A field does not represent buying power. A field is there for agriculture or for development. Okay, depends whatever, whatever is happening and where it is. Okay, one of the two. Okay, that's what a field is. But I can get, I have to pay money. Well, you can translate that into money by selling it. And you can, but brand is easier because there's always some guy that wants brand. Real estate, you're stuck with the local Brooklynite or wherever it, ever it is. You have something out there, what's it called there? In that new suburb of Lakewood where all the frumer are buying out of Ford's River, whatever it is, where all the, all the anti-Semitism is happening. No. So now it's good. The guy don't want you there. Okay. I was like, hey, this. The cloud is another posh. Shavit Kesiv Kesiv does not mean to say that Shavit Kesiv is like Kesiv. I'm doing you a favor here because someday you're going to link Lushan or something like that. Let's take away the Narish kite. It means to say it's an indirect way of giving money. Shavit Kesiv Kesiv is Allah and Hilchis Nasina and Piron of Kesiv. The Chayva is Kesiv. 
Elamai, I can give it to you or pay it to you in an indirect way. If I give you the capability of getting it by giving you something which is readily given to you, that's also called giving it to you. Not that this is kesef. This is a way of giving kesef. This is the biggest rai is the din of kol mila meitav. You know, there's nothing capi of a for sure you more than that if I if I danced on my head. And that's Moskona Sasugi here, by the way, okay? Just, just want you to know, okay? So this is the getter of Shavit Kesef to Kesef. Now I understand something very clear. I understand that when I talk about money, I talk about that, what is the, so what is cash? Something which is the embodiment of what we call buying power. In, in, in Talmudic language, we call it mominous. Mominous, not the Kesef, the mominous is expressed directly in Kesef. Karka, or Shavit Kesef, is not a direct expression of mominous. It is at the best a way of getting mominous. Okay? Kesef is the expression, what is the fashion division of money? Mominous. If mominous means buying power, mominous means I have money, money for me, me equals buying power. The ultimate expression of buying power is whether it's bills or whether it's coins in those days, or today maybe, uh, I don't know what, uh, electric, uh, whatever it is today, the, how it works today, that's what it is, okay? When we talk about commodities or real estate, that is not mominous. We can't say that this embodies the concept of mominous. It is a medium uh, to, uh, to, to attain, indirectly, to attain mominous, which is going to be cash. Those are doors have to be clear. So I'm going to sum up so far two years ago. A. Shavit Kesef means to say an indirect way of getting Matbea. A, that's a Gemorim of a comment of Zion the base. B, the idea of, uh, uh, if I want to define the definition of, uh, of Kesef, means to say, you must give me buying power. That's the Allah of Kesef. Why? Not that I need the medium of silver, because silver, which is coined, minted, is the expression of buying power, of, of that's what Kesef means. Kesef is used as a metaphor. We don't mean to say a, sliver, a, a, a bar of silver. A bar, the, I am the Gemara and Hazov. There are certain things, if they're not Chorv, they're called Perush and not Kesef. I am the is, if gold versus silver. If gold is something which is harder to get rid of, it's called a pay, it's called a commodity. It's not called a, it's a currency. This is the whole mission of Perush, the first mission of Hazov. Read it. Now we go to one Nakuda, and that is as follows. What did we understand it meant? It meant to say that I'm giving you money, and basically the mominous is mine. You can use my mominous and, and reap profit, but the mominous is mine. And therefore, you always have to put my mominous in some object in order that that, that will be, because of mishtash, will be the expression of my mummies, as we learned and I discussed it last time around. That the Gemara Chulun Kuflamid Aleph, if my mummies is moilid, other chafatzim, that's also called an expression of my mummies. As we learned that Matas Kuna gives, because of Matas Kuna, I now have a silo full of wheat, so that silo full of wheat is an expression of that mummies, it's called the Gidule Hegdish, and it has a din of Hegdish. It's called Gidulim of Matas Kuna, it has a din of Matas Kuna. We learned that, it's called Mishtarshim. That's how Milva Lavloitzonitna means. From this Rashbam, we see that even if Milva Lavloitzonitna, it means to say that the Mominus belongs to the Malva. And that Mominus you can use all the pay rice and all the usage of the mummies belong to me. But that mummies belongs to the Malva. And therefore, Bamela, when you collect money, what you're actually collecting is the embodiment of my mummies in your Nechassim. When I come to collect it, those, those coins that you have in your pocket are the Abishtarsha, are the, are the development of my mummies. You're taking my coins and you can translate that into your own, granted. But the mumness, the buying power you're taking is, you now have coins which you've made yours, but the buying power in it still is mine, therefore it is now translated in whatever coins you will have ultimately. There's no other way of explaining if you hold and yet he's 
you must say there is still something lingering in the background which belongs to the Malva. What is it? The same moments that you understood by Milva Lavlay Tsarnitva. You understood that that moment is now expressed in the commodities that you buy. But you really, and you always have to have those commodities, Roy Lippi Roy. And here it's not that way. You can do what you want with my mumminess, but you should know whatever mummin you have afterwards is my mumminess is there. That is the mishtarsh of my mumminess. But that's not the gobu kar kesef. Because kesef is the embodiment of mumminess. Harka is not the embodiment of mumminess. Because every Tashim Karka is nothing more than the indirect way of getting that mumminess. So my mumminess does not allow, does not live in, does not express itself in your karka. It expresses itself directly in your kesef. And this is this man the armor, the gobu kesef yeshloi, gobu karka enloi. Nachman. Gavu mois yeshle, because your mama and your matbeyas, your shtoras are the embodiment. That is the tzura of my mominus. My mominus is my lid mominus. My shanky, my mominus is not my lid karka. That's the chiddush of the narzai here. Because karka is, is, that's not mominus. That's karka. What is karka? It's an indirect way of getting mominus. That's why I had to say what I said, shat and shavit kesem kekesem. Because if I would have thought that Shavit Kesef means to say that no, even commodities is called Mamanis, what would be the difference between Gavu Kark and Gavu Mos? And they say that no, that when you collect Mos, you're going for the Mos that you gave him. When you collect Karka, no, that doesn't work. After of Nachman Shita here in our dove, here in Bavavasra. Read it. So, so Rebbe, why would he have to have a star? Let me just finish it and then I'll tie it up and then you'll ask the question. Okay, I'm going to suggest, obviously, this is totally new and probably shocking. I suggest you do a little thinking before you ask. Don't jump. Relax. It took a long time to get here. Now, don't you jump on me so fast. Okay. Now, this is clear what's found here. We see two Yisraelis in Rajbab. We see the Kashok of Moshe and that's only Shadafka. And that's when you gave mumminess, you have to, that mumminess is expressed, that mumminess you gave is now found in this mumminess. Okay. We also understand that's only in Matbeas and not in Karka, according to this mandoma. You must read it again. We obviously understand that therefore the star is called a mashkoin for Matbeas and the star is not called a mashkin for Karka. That's what the Rajram says. A country of Nachman. That's what he says. Derech Agav, it says that we're not dealing with Shibudim or not, which is another question, why not? What about Shibud B'chassim? That's Rav Taina and Rav Nachman, but that's Rav Nachman Shita here. So let's put it on the table. We know one thing, the Gobo Mois, Yeshle, because Keshokal Mois, Shilvayo, and that's why it's called the Mashkun. Because once again, once you understand the Iker Achayv is Zuz, is the Gemara Taisha describes this at length in Babakam over there in Davches. Zuzu Yoib, Zuzu Pora. Where's the Gemara? Let me see. Tavtes. Tavtes, the Ramasar of Huna. And the different Rishonim there. The Rosh on the spot there, Simon Hay. Babakama. That by about Chayv, the primary thing you owe him is cash. He gave you cash, you give him cash. That's what you owe him. Not by Nazikin. But by Babakama, by by Alvo, yes. Zuzu Yoiv, Zuzu Pora is not just a din of how to pay, according to the Rashbam, it is actually being Magda the Gufa Choiv. It's not just a din of Piroi and that we have a primary thing since he gave you money, you should pay him cash. No, because that's really what's his. Kashokal Mois Shehelvo. That's the illusion of the Rashbam. So the Rashbam is basically saying, yes, all the Mivalites are Nitma. And you can do with it what you want. You don't have to be mine in Be'iska. But the mominus is always mine. The machlek is of mivalei tzonit and lavalei tzonit. It's not who own, whose is the buying power. The buying power by mivalei tzonit is always the malvus. And there's a new halacha. You have to keep something which represents that. Kamadi, whatever you should be. Oymid l'gviya. Midin mishtarsha, as we explained. That is not the Allah of Mivalite Sonitna. Do what you want with it, but know that I am still there. 
not the Chiddush Dinah Mivah Leitzah Nitna. And therefore, if you go to Kesev, we say Keshokal Moshe Levu. Because my mumness, which I have by you, is Memoini Gabach, Loshan of Chazal, quite a few places. Memoini Gabach is not just I had money that you owe me, I have mumness by you. And where is it expressed? In your mumness. And therefore, Gov Moshe Yeshli. Why? Because that's the shot exactly, because the star is a mashka, and its value is also in moish. It's not value in karkos, it's a value in moish. So what do you have a mashka on? On the mominus, which equals on the matbeish. To say it's a mashka, it's not that the star appreciates it to karka, that's not true. Karka is an indirect way of paying. That's why I had to say the big guy from Obama. Karka is not mominous. Karka is an indirect way of getting mominous. Karka is defined by agriculture, by real estate. It's a way of getting mominous. Is this called mominous? No. Does this embody mominous? No. Is it a way of getting mominous? Yes. That's why the star is not the star is not valued by how much karka. So that's the case. It's not a mashkin. It's not the value of the star. The star is the mashkin for its mominus, a substitute of gvia. And that's what the Rishbam says here, that the cloud is that when you gave mominus, therefore a male, that mominus is yours. And therefore a male, the star is a mashkin for that mominus. And male, that's why it's not a mashkin for karka, because karka is not defined by mominus, but an indirect way of getting mominus. And the male, that's that, that this is Dasr of Nachman Lukhair, this in the Sugi at the moment when the Rajbam explains it. We'll go further in Ahmed Ahmed Aleph the next summer to explain it more at length in the Shakta Batai. That's Rav Nachman Shita of Gov Mois, yes, the Gov Karka Ainlai. And that's the Pshat by Dafka by Moshe Yavel. I gave you mummin, I gave you mumminess, my mumness is by you. By ribbis, I didn't give you anything. You have a schivus because you received extra mischive Y. There, I never had mumminess by you. I don't have a mamoini gaboch by ribbis. It's a schivus. What's ribbis? I gave you money, so I have mumminess to some of $100. You're mischayev to pay me $200. So $100 is my mumminess. $100 is your private schivus. I have a shibud on you. I have shibud a goof. I have shibud a chosim. But it's not mumin shelvo. Therefore, it's not my mumminess expecting your madbeas. Therefore, Mamela, the star is never a mashkin for that because the get of a star being a mashkin is because that is the value of the star. Very good. My mummin is found in your star. My mummin is found in this star because that's the value of the star. Mum is my mummin is, sure, is found in this star. Mashenka, the, the chiv of the ribbons is not my mummin, it's just mummin I can get. That's not called. It's the mashkin, it's the mashkin. That's the pshat l'chayra in this rejban. I will obviously have to explain this more on Wednesday. I have a small feeling, but I really want the nurse to understand this more. Really finish the Ahmed very well with the rejban and go into the next Ahmed. And then there's a big rejban we have to tackle. I'm going to ask you to first work on the rejban and let the tashas go, because if not, you'll, you'll never end. It's a very big rejban. One has to have a total command of the Gemara that he deals with, specifically the Gemara Psachim over there, Daf Lamed, Lamed Aleph. That's what he deals with a lot here. Uh, please, I want to finish this hopefully on, uh, on, on Wednesday, late, it's Thursday. I want, I want to move on because uh, the next sugi is like in interesting. It's a sugi which is not Kaminis for Tzavos and Yerushas. It's called uh, What Happens If You Can Give Something After Your Death. Okay, which is very important. Is anybody who wants one story that Savoy has to know this sugi very well. And this is a very hard sugi which has to be done. I want to get there as fast as possible before they do these capsule things and then they're going to tell me they have to start Kuf Chavav and I don't want to miss this. Okay, guys, see you. Enjoy. Yes, Elazar, you want to talk now or do you want to like think about it first and we can do this? You can call me whenever you want. Whatever you would prefer. I have time if you want. It's up to you if you're well read. I'm not, I'll get back to Rabbi. <laughs> you know, I like intelligent questions. Okay, relax. Take it. I, I just okay. threw a whole barrage at you. You understand? I just uh, bomb, I just did like a Dresden bombing. You know what I mean? So uh, obviously this is not simple. 
Okay, a lot of thoughts, a lot of ideas. Okay. Uh, think about it. See you guys, poor mayor, you're looking total shock. At least I'm smiling, okay? It's even Chesky's smiling, okay? Uh, but, uh, okay, I'll see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock, right? Enjoy your Guy Fawkes Day, you know what that is? You don't have to explain what Guy Fawkes Day is. It's the day of celebrating religious oh. paramania. Uh, which thank God you have been refrained, uh, abstain, you abstained from doing this year, which is very important. But I do suggest you light uh, uh, five candles tonight. The five sun, five candles. Five candles tonight. And then the shaman for five candles, Talmudim. The five Talmudim, Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Dabariloy, Rabbi Yehuda, Yehuda, the Gemara in Sanhedrin over there in. Uh, in Samach Bay, he brings the list of the five Talmidim. It's very important. That, that's an important thing to do, okay? Now you light the candles, you know, if, you want to, if you're into this stuff, okay? If you want to do Neshama Lich for Tanoim, the holiday is all about lighting five, those five candles. And don't barbecue anything in the Neshama Lich. That's like awkward, right? That's what you guys do, right? You, you stick marshmallows into a Neshama candle. It's like, <laughs> it's just, Disgusting. <laughs> I know how to say this, you know, sticking the shama marshmallows and eating steak next to an shama lift. Oh my God. It's like weird. It, it couldn't be weird, or I don't know. Definitely not the religion I belong to. It must be some kind of letter day development. Uh, nothing to do with Judaism. Uh, and we'll talk about that tonight. Okay, just as the rule of thumb, the day has nothing to do with Shimba Yochai per se. Okay, anybody who knows the Sugis knows that. Okay, yeah, okay, we'll talk about that tonight. Bye. Leave meetings. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Abby.